Hey guys, I'm hoping that this video uh, helps anybody who has a similar type issue. Normally, you see me raving about Renegy products. I've been using them for a very long time. Uh, this is one time when I'm going to be slandering the bejesus out of them. And um, those of you guys that are doing your solar installs, be very, very careful. Um, this is a class C motorhome, 29 foot, uh, four winds by Thor, uh, E450 chassis. I had a dead battery, um, and I couldn't, for the likes of me, figure out why that was. Right? Um, th this is some months ago. Right. So I'm like, what the heck, you know, because like I, I just came back from a 6,000 mile trip. It couldn't have died, yada, yada, yada. You know, I'm connected to, uh, you know, the post and everything like that. So there's this very interesting thing. Um, I have Renegy DC to DC uh, charger so I could charge my lithium batteries off the alternator and the battery. Right. Notice this, right? I've disconnected. This is a new battery that I've put in, and I'll explain why I put the disconnect in there. Uh, this is several months ago. Take a look at the meter. See this? See that? 0 0.01 volts. Look at the post over here. Look what it's doing. Right? The very first time I've noticed that was with the old battery. Like it was all oxidated and all weird and discombobulated. So I swapped the battery, thought, okay, maybe, you know, it's still doing it. So I have pulled every single fuse out of the fuse block, uh, fuse box, uh, both inside here, inside the engine compartment, and also at the uh, foot well of the driver or passenger, either or, I forgot which one it was. Um, checked every single fuse, everything was normal. Uh, by the way, this is Moab dust, still on everything. Um, couldn't for the likes of me figure out, you know, I put the new battery in, it's still doing it, right? So um, I put the disconnect in there, right? Um, disconnected it. And whenever this whole thing runs, you know, it keeps the battery charged. You know, I disconnect it for the week, just like anybody else in storage, come back, flip the switch. And I keep noticing this over here, right? This is really, really bizarre. So I'm like, what is going on? You know, because I've disconnected this. So clearly it cannot be the vehicle. Well, surprise, surprise, put my little voltmeter to this. Those two wires, they go to the DC to DC uh, converter inside the cabin of the vehicle. And I'm gonna walk over there in a second to show you what that is. Uh, basically, I have a switch. Normally people wire it directly into the fuse block, um, but you could actually run a switch on the dash so that you could flip it and terminate it that way. Otherwise, it only supposed to work whenever the key is in. So this red wire, thin red wire, this up over here, and this one is basically to the switch that sits in um, on the uh, driver's side, you know, somewhere around my knee. Um, well, this wire over here and that wire are basically going all the way to the DC to DC charger. And if you've paid attention, it was off putting 0.1 volts while disconnecting off the battery, right? Now, let me walk you to how this is wired so that you have full context. Four gauge wire, right? Goes over here underneath the door sill, sort of like behind the um, couch over there. And Um, I have a, a video on my YouTube channel uh, showing exactly how all of this is wired and there's all sorts of charge controllers as you could see over there. Everything is fused, disconnected, da da da. Here's the problem. It is backfeeding power 
off the batteries through the DC to DC battery charger. Look at that. So 0 0.1 volts is enough to upset the battery of the vehicle. How crazy is that? And this over here, um, this switch is basically the, the two wires that you've seen over there. Um, you could flip it and, well, it's not going to light up because it's disconnected. But basically, this wire is the thin red wire, which is this over there, that goes to the right there. Okay, again, everything is fused and all the dip switches are set to proper, yada, yada, yada. You could see the wire over there, right? And so from here, it goes directly into the rest of the setup. So basically what's happening is it's backfitting off the batteries and it started doing that uh, even before I put the lithiums in here. So it was doing it uh, off the uh, gel hybrids as well. So it's backfitting through the system. There. And that's what's killing the vehicle battery. So for those of you that are running into the same issue, my advice to you is get rid of this piece of part of my language, you know what, because this is not worth uh, your time and it's not worth re replacing the battery. Simple as that. Uh, this is absolute garbage. You know, I, I was going to remove this for a completely different reason and just for kicks and giggles, um, I decided to test the voltage. Surprise, surprise, it's backfitting this way, which should be as per our energy, physically impossible. But, as you might have surmised by the content of this video, it very much is. So, um, here's the interesting factoid. Uh, this is the kill switch for the batteries. So, basically, it is feeding the energy because this is in the off position at the moment it's uh taking energy from the <laughs> charge controllers right which are off because every single one of them is off but somehow there's enough residual energy in the system so that led me to think okay well how is that possible it cannot be the solar right it cannot be the battery because this is isolated that's isolated, right? Everything is turned off. Started tracing it back. This whole thing is connected by the wires to the place where the original house batteries used to be. I'm gonna show you over here. So original batteries are obviously taken out. So if you keep tracing the wires, those wires go all the way into the converter box. So my next order of business was to actually disconnect the camper off the uh, off the post. And surprise, surprise, that voltage disappeared. So. I'm expecting obviously voltage to come in, you know, 120 over here to the converter box so that the lights and everything could work as you might expect. This is off. The solar panels are off. The only component that could be faulty is this over here. So uh, those of you that are having uh, vehicle battery issues uh, going through the same kind of kerfuffle as I was uh, now you have somewhat of a resource to use 
in your diagnosis. If you start seeing this on a brand new battery, see what other connected devices you have on the system. Obviously do a full uh, uh, fuse panel check. So I'm gonna show this to you here. Uh, this being Ford um, E450, uh, 350s I think it's it should be about the same. So you basically, um, you know, remove that. And then um, uh, if you go to YouTube, there's a whole bunch of videos that show you how to properly test each fuse. So I'll spare you that conversation. And then in the actual footwell, like over there-ish, um, there's going to be another fuse box. So you go through both of them just to make sure that it is not your vehicle. But whatever else you connect, to your system be cognizant of the fact of whether it's not back feeding uh, power so now that i've disconnected what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some baking soda on this uh, with water clean this off and uh, basically that will fix my issue once and for all and that energy dc to dc charger is going straight into trash um, so i've replaced the battery obviously uh, that set me back about uh, 100 bucks or so, but at least now I know going forward I'm not going to have a repeat of that issue. So hope this helps.